What's going on everybody? It's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm going to go over my team of the week week 8 predictions. Now as you guys do know, sadly I still don't have my computer. If you guys watched my morning video you would know that. Now I am taking this back to Best Buy tonight at around 7pm to go get it looked at. I have the warranty on and everything. It's a software issue. It's very, it just won't start up. But besides the point, I'm using a Mac. Sorry for the poor quality but again, it's either I work or I don't work. So I got I to gotta get through with it and just kind of, uh, you know, just do what I can. But before we get into today's video, guys, if you do want to be, have a chance to be shouted out in today's Poodle Squad, all you got to do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on that noti bell. For today's Poodle Squad shout out, guys, we do have Tyler Bruno. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you for showing support each and every day. Now, moving on from that, guys, you know I love predictions. One of my favorite videos of the week. Wish we had our computer for this. going to be very tough to kind of do everything I need to do for this, but... Besides so the point, guys, getting to our lower set, guys, I'm not going to be able to show you how I usually do. I do have some of them loaded up to show you guys so I can show you guys stats and stuff. But for the lower set, guys, pretty much going to be going through them. So our first defensive lower set guy for week eight, by the way, we're in week eight, team of the week. Our first lower set guy is Spillane for Pittsburgh. If you guys are watching the game, uh, Lamar Jackson gift wrapped an interception right to his hands, and he took it back for pick six. Nonetheless, still caught it, still a fast throw, and he took it back all the way. So... I believe he was filling, I could be wrong, I believe he's filling in for Devin Bush, who did go out for season. But besides the point, one of our guys is going to be him. He had a pick six, and again, I could see him being one of those guys that do get it. From Spillane, guys, we have Bobby Wagner. Bobby Wagner had a great week on the Seahawks. Now, he hasn't gotten, like, any upgrades this year, which is really weird, because you know Bobby Wagner's like the poster child for Madden Oldman team. You know, he always has a card. Kind of like the Keekly, which is always getting upgrades. Now, Bobby Wagner had 11 tackles, 2 sacks. Great, great week. He has a great week every week. He's always just been like a, he's always been a tackle fiend and always gets his sacks, always gets his work in. But again, some of his great weeks don't look as great because of how many good weeks he has in between. But either way, again, Wagner should definitely get it. Now, Diggs for the Cowboys had a great game. I don't remember the exact stats, but he did do pretty good uh, for the Cowboys, despite the horrific defense and playing an horrific team as well. They, they, they did something, right? Now, moving on from that, guys, now to get to our offensive one. Zach Moss had about 80 yards and two touchdowns for the Buffalo Bills. Played a big part in keeping them in that game. Uh, I think Zach Marsh at any point will take that spot from Singletary and run with it. But until they give him the full roll, regardless, he should be getting a, either a team of the week or if they give him a power potentially. But either way, he'll probably get like an 81, 82 team of the week. Now remember, Wagner will get a plus one as well. Spillane will have a new card. Diggs will have a new card. Moss will have a new card. Wagner will get the plus one. Next, we have Dalvin Cook. Now, a lot of people think Dalvin Cook should probably get the current hero. Now, the issue with Dalvin Cook getting the current hero is that he does have a 90 overall LTD. So if he just gets a current hero... He's just only going to get a plus 2, and his power-up LTD is 91, so he's going to get a plus 1 technically. I don't know if Madden will go ahead and do that, so I'm going to give him a plus 1 in his power-up. Bring him up to a 92 overall, which will make him, you know, still still a pretty modest upgrade right there. And Dalvin Cook had a historic game. He had 4 touch. I think he scored the first 4 touchdowns on their first 4 drives that he, you know, well, maybe not first 4 drives. I think it was just first 4 touchdowns, but regardless... Either way, had a great game. Next, guys, DK Metcalf. I haven't been in fantasy, and I've been, in, I've been loving the hell out of having him in fantasy this year. DK Metcalf had 100 and... I would say about 140-ish. We go 140 and two touchdowns. Had a great game. Took one of the crosses to the house. He's he's one of the he's like he's like Tyree Kill but tall in terms of how big you know his big playability. But DK Metcalf will get a plus one in his uh, power up, and I believe he already might have one because he does get a plus one. He had the uh, the 90 overall card, so he's gonna be able to get up to a 91 slash 92 depending. I don't remember if he got one already, but. That plus one's going to be great. That could get his speed up, guys, to a 94. If he gets a 94 speed, that card's going to be even crazier than it already is. But that is about it for that, guys. Now, in terms of this, I did want to show you guys the Dalvin Cook stats real quick. I do have this for you. Uh, Dalvin Cook on his plus one. Well, plus two, technically, because he gets to a 92. He will get 91 speed. He will get a few other good stats. Now, again, 92 speed is usable. That, that makes Dalvin Cook actually pretty, pretty good, to be quite honest with you guys. So take that as you will. DK Metcalf. We'll get up to a 91, 92. So again, his speed could potentially get up to a 93. Oh, uh, well, 94, actually. So DK Metcalf would be crazy fast. And now, guys, moving on to our Legend Heroes. Now, our Legend Heroes, again, I, I don't have pictures for them because, of course, they're Legend Heroes. So we don't have them yet. But I can give you guys some comparable players that, you know, I can see being similar. So first, let's go on to Sean Alexander. My first Legend Hero uh, will be Emmett Smith for offense. So Emmett Smith... I know he could be a legend, but last year they dropped him with the 100, and this year, of course, we don't have the 100. Uh, so, but the in terms of the 50, I don't think he's going to be one of the top 50 Mutt players. No, he was never really that dominant in Mutt. He was dominant in real life. But I could see him getting a card. Emmitt Smith had 152 touchdowns, 
I'm sorry, sorry, 152 yards and three touchdowns the week that I'm talking about right now. So three touchdowns, 152 yards is a great game, a classic Cowboys game. You know, great, good to great yardage, but just a lot of goal line touchdowns more than likely. Now, I see Emmitt Smith being kind of similar to Sean Alexander in, in a sense that he will probably end up, I think Emmitt Smith probably ends up with an 89 speed. Powered up 90, which is, again, decent. Uh, again, I think the power is going to be very, very similar. I think Emmett Smith ends up with, like, an 85 truck, 85 brake tackle, 85 juke. I think, like, because that's what Emmett Smith is. He's a very well-rounded back that can do everything pretty well, but nothing insane. Now, Emmett Smith would be decent. I don't think he's going to be a meta card by any means, but, you know, it's still Emmett Smith, leading rusher in the NFL. You know he's going to get a card at some point. I don't know when, but this feels like a time that he could easily get one. So, that's it for that one, guys. Now, the next guy we could get is a guy that I'm actually pretty excited for, and that is Rondé Barber. The week I'm talking about, he had two forced fumbles and an interception. It would make sense. Now, Rondé Barber would probably end up with a 92 speed, uh, plus powered up. So, Rondé Barber, I can see getting him to like a 92, 93 speed, which would be crazy. He ends up being a threshold man zone and press guy, and he probably ends up being really athletic. Now, Rondé Barber would be one of the better cornerbacks in Madden, and he'd be at a cheaper price because of the, the team of the week's. Now, the only thing with Team of the Week is I think it might be going up in overall this week, guys. So, that would be pretty exciting if it does. So, they've been 91s, right? I think it's going to go up to 92s this week. And then the LTDs will go up to 93s. So, if the LTDs go up to 93s, that does mean that we will be seeing Emmett Smith and Rondé Barber as a 92. Which will increase their stats even more so than we're used to seeing. But Rondé Barber would be good. I didn't think, I think Rondé Barber could maybe fit the meta. I just don't think Emmett Smith will. But that's about it for that, guys. Let's get into my hero for the current week, which is... Patrick Mahomes. Now, I think Patrick Mahomes could get a 90, 91 overall, or 92 overall, I should say, Team of the Week card. Now, that increase would be pretty good, plus he gets to 93 with his power-up. Now, that Patrick Mahomes card will probably end up getting up to, let's see, I'd say, with the plus 5 increase, he probably ends up seeing a 77 speed, which is still decent. His throw power probably ends up at a 92, which is good, 92 throw power. His short will hit above 90, his medium will hit 90, or you know either break even or go above, and his deep accuracy will be about an 87. But on the bright side, guys, he will be an all-threshold passer because, of course, powered up and chemmed up, he will get with go deep, he'll get medium, short, and deep all the way up. His throw under pressure will be above 90, his throw on the run will be above 90, his break sack will be like an 85, 86, and his throw power will be like a 92. So chemmed up and powered up, he could probably get his throw power up to like an 80, 90, 95, 97-ish, depending. So he's going to be really good. And he's going to be borderline mobile as well with that 77-ish speed. So 77 speed is pretty important, guys. If he can get up to that, he can still take off. You know, no big plays. But, you know, you, you see it's you send verts down deep and there's 20 yards, you know, to the next next defender. You can take off for 10 yards. Kind of like that Aaron Rodgers mobility. But Patrick Holmes would be good. I don't know if he'd be meta because, like, of course, we do have some. We like Cole Pepper and we have some other guys now. It really just depends on abilities and what he can get. You know, I forget if he's a strong arm or if he's a field general. If he's a field general, then he's good. If he's a strong arm, then Culpepper's going to be the better option of the two. But either way, um, you know, Mahomes still going to be good. I don't know if he'll be meta. Like I said, it really depends on his abilities. But still really good. And now, guys, finally for our LTD current for the week, we're going with Nick Bosa. Now, so kind of like uh, Saquon Barkley getting the LTD, it comes down to they went over season with a 20 ACL. So he has to find a way to give him cards. And the best way would probably be past performances like an LTD. Uh, especially a team of the week past performance. Now, this would be for 2019 last year. If you guys recall one of his one of the uh, games last year where he had three sacks and a pick six. Makes sense, right? Three sacks and a pick six in week eight. I think I could see I could see it. Now uh, LTD would be a 93, so that'd be a plus 10 overall. So he would end up getting really good speed. So plus 10 on Nick Bosa, you probably end up seeing him at like an 80 speed. So if he gets an oh plus powered up to 94, remember. So he probably end up with an 80 speed, which is really good. Probably an 88 excel, really good. And now probably an 84 strength, which is good as well. Now, in terms of this, he probably only ends up with like an 80 block shed, which means he's a decent run stuffer. But in terms of pass rushing, I think he could end up being really, really good. So he ends up with a, probably an 85 hit power. Uh, he ends up getting close to the play rec threshold of 90. But his finesse move is probably going to be like a 94. Plus the fact, 93, 94, plus he can get powered up a pass rush. You could probably get into a 98 to 99 finesse move. But again, his block shedding won't be too great. He's going to be more of a finesse move athleticism guy, more so than a block shedder. So again, that comes down to you guys. I think in terms of who you could really use here as meta, it would probably be Nick Bosa, possibly Mahomes and Rondé Barber, Metcalf, uh, and Dalvin Cook. It's probably it. I don't see anyone else. Like, I don't really see Emmitt Smith or some of the other guys falling into that spot. It really depends on abilities and what they actually end up doing with stats and thresholds. Because again, I could be off by one stat, and one stat could be the difference between threshold and abilities. So... Always got to take that into account. But guys, that pretty much is it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you aren't to the channel, make sure down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Come join the family, boys. That's about it.
Now, if you guys want to join the Poodle Squad, comment down below Poodle Squad, like the video, and turn on that noti bell. And if you guys need coins to pick up any of the Team of the Week cards coming out tomorrow or today's Scary Tall Drop, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Coins are discounted for Halloween. And use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.